Hi guys, welcome back to the Jake Vlog channel and today in this video I'm going to be reacting um, to some match day vlogs. Well, I say some, um, I'm going to be reacting to my Manchester City for Tottenham Hotspur 3 match day vlog. Of course, VAR madness in uh, the Champions League quarterfinal last season. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm going to do a couple videos where I thought I'd just do my reaction to some of my vlogs, some of them which will be brilliant, um, brilliant memories, and some that, you know, won't be the best memories, and maybe vlogs that I might watch for the last time. Um, but yeah, we've got a brilliant memory, my, the best Spurs game I have been to to this day. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Right away is, of course, my voice. My voice is so high. Uh, and, and this was only a couple months ago, this was, oh no, it was almost a year ago actually. Um, this was back in April, but yeah, I'm going to shut up for a bit, just let you uh, watch a bit and I'll just talk every now and then. Of course, Spurs were, um, of course, Spurs were one nil up um, on on aggregate, but I will, I wasn't confident. Not because we, we were playing bad; it's just because City, um, Premier League holders. I didn't think we were going to do it against them. Uh, I thought City would, would be too strong for us. Um, of course, they did actually win the game. Um, they did win the game, but of course, Spurs went through. In away goals, um, yeah, which of course you will see coming up. Oh, I, me I remember that front three um, Son, Kane. Um, well, I mean, Kane was actually injured, I believe. I think he was injured. Yeah, he was because he missed. He missed Ajax in the Champions League semi-final, both legs. City fans um, sing Hey Jude. I mean, to be fair, it did look quite cool with the blue and white pieces of paper, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, you'll see, and you've probably already seen if you've watched the vlog, that I'm literally, I mean, there. I'm sitting right next to the City fans and I'm and there's three tears in the away end at Man City and me, my dad, Dinan and his dad, um, Dinan of course and my best friend, we were sitting back row so tear. Um but yeah, it was still nice. Brilliant view, could see the whole pitch from where from where we were. Um and yeah, even if you look behind us there was a little window that you could see like a bit of Manchester. Um, which was nice, but of course I was more, a bit more focused on a Champions League quarter final uh, that Spurs, of course, were in. And you, you can't be um, listening to the Champions League anthem, especially Champions League away game against Man City at the Etihad. It, 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 it's absolutely brilliant. I was so excited for this moment, Spurs against Manchester City. Um, I, I wasn't necessarily so confident, but you know we'll just see how the game goes. And of course, uh, Ra Raheem Sterling put City one nil up, um, one nil up in sort of like five minutes, and then here we go. Um, Son equalised. Quite a bad mistake from Edison, and it took. I mean, I mean, it took us a split second to realise I actually went in because how high we were. And here, I mean, I mean, it's going very quick. But here we went 2-1 up, two away goals at the Etihad, which of course was crucial. Um, and then, and then, yeah, <laughs> before you know it, I just stopped recording my, all, all the celebrations from um, going 2-1 up. And then City, get yeah, I from what I remember, a very fortunate goal, 2-2, um, and then, 
who was this? Sterling. There we go, yeah. Sterling makes it 3 2. Um, goals galore in the first half, and then, yeah, as you can see, it was half time. Manchester City 3, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Um, mad game. There were, I mean, the first 20 minutes, and it was 3 2. Um, and, yeah, it, it was brilliant. Spurs had two away goals. We were going through. Um, we were going through at, at, at half time of this game. Of course, we would have gone through on away goals. Um, but it was brilliant. But of course, we were still nervous of what Man City can do on the attack. No, yeah, I, I mean, me and my dad both knew that there was going to be a long 45 minutes um, for every Spurs fan. Watching these vlogs as well, um, it just brings back the memory of not just an amazing memory, just going to football, of course. Um, I haven't been to football in almost a month now. Um, I mean, yeah, and then here we go. City make it 4-2, um, and then they were going through because they were 4-3 up on aggregate. Um, because, of course, we only beat them 1-0 at White Hart Lane. Um, and then yeah, this was this was when uh, we equalised. No, not equalised. No, no, it was. What was the score? No, no, we didn't equalise. It was four three here. Sorry about that. Um, but as soon as it went in, I I didn't celebrate too much because I knew they were gonna look at it. I I didn't really see it as, as I was I, I was right back row pretty much. Um, yeah, I was right back row, so I wasn't sure, but I knew something wasn't, didn't look quite right with that goal. Um, and of course, people still, uh, well, I mean, obviously not now, but people were saying if it was off his hip or his arm, um, but something didn't look, it just, I don't know, it just didn't look quite right about it. But then, yeah, the AR gave it brilliant memory. Going mental at the Etihad once again. That was three away goals. Uh, not many people can say that. They've seen their team score three goals in a Champions League quarter final at the Etihad. Yeah, and at this point we were going through. Spurs fans were loving life, singing their hearts out. Spurs fans were brilliant this evening, um, on this evening. The atmosphere was amazing with all the Spurs fans. They were, every single one of them made noise. I, I couldn't believe it, I suppose we're going to go to the Champions League semi-final. Absolutely brilliant. And then, unfortunately, I don't get my reaction on camera, because me and, me and my dad were walking down the stairs um, in absolute disgust, of course. Raheem Sterling scored. We all know what happened. He scored. Last-minute winner. Uh, Pep Guardiola and all the staff ran on the pitch uh, and yeah it was absolutely crazy and then VAR ruled it out and here we were just trying to keep it in the corner Ali I remember was running down the wing he, he did some nice skill here I remember and then we played it into the corner where we actually managed to get a corner I believe yeah there we go that's when we got the corner I couldn't believe what was going on. And yeah, I, I, I was then said we just needed to hold on for a couple more seconds. And then, of course, this happened. What a memory. I'll remember this for the rest of my life, honestly. Such such a good moment here in that final whistle go. Um, and, when we, and then we, and while we were walking down the stairs, um, the players came over to the fans. The fans were loving life. Stayed in the stadium um, for a bit after the game. Um, and yeah, it was a brilliant memory. Brilliant game. The best game I have ever been to. The best game I've ever watched, um, of course, is Ajax. That semi-final in Amsterdam. But unfortunately, I did not go to that game. But yeah, this is the best game I have ever been to. So there we go, that was reacting to the Manchester City vlog in the Champions League. There will be more match day vlogs. Um, I'm going to be probably doing one um, where 
it's not the best memories and probably when we lose um, against some dodgy team, probably like Newcastle or something. So you want to stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Of course, it is a bit of a struggle. Of course, there are no match day vlogs at the moment um, due to what's happening uh, in the world right now. I hope everyone's staying, staying safe, staying at home. Um, we will get through this, hopefully. Well, no, we definitely will get through it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video slightly different to what I normally do. Um, of course, the circumstances at the moment. But if you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.